Hi guys, uh, Mac of uh, Big Print Birmingham. Um, today, uh, what I'm going to be doing <coughs> is I'm making some of these. So these go on the floor. They're um, circle vinyls. Uh, these have been uh, printed on the Roland. Um, then they've uh, been laminated and then put back into the machine um, and then um, cut down uh, to the various circles uh, shapes that we need. Um, to do this, what we need to do is we need to use a crop mark feature in uh, VersaWorks. Um, and then, um, yeah, so if you watch this video, I will uh, do my very best to show you guys how to do that. So here on the computer, I have my uh, file that I'm going to be uh, printing um, just there. Um, I'm not going to go too much into this particular um, aspect of the tutorial. I'm hoping that you guys actually know how to do this. Uh, but I'm just going to zoom in and show you that I have added uh, my uh, cut line uh, to each uh, one of these circles. Um, I've then simply saved this file as a um, PDF which I then uh, pop it up, uh, pop, uh, pop it into uh, Roland VersaWorks. Here we are. So if I just simply click on that. So how this works is um, in when you're in a uh, Roland VersaWorks, um, you go into the properties uh, option. And then when you're in the properties option, the key things that you need to be aware of is um, under marks, you want to make sure you switch on crop marks, uh, print and cut. That's really, really important. Um, that will then print uh, some registration marks all the way around on the four corners of the print job. Um, and then uh, when you feed uh, the job back into the machine, um, the machine has a, an optical sensor. It's going to um, uh, locate those uh, registration marks, um, find itself, and then it'll go back in and cut the circles that we had in the second file. So when you first uh, put this file into Roland VersaWorks, most likely you're gonna see something like this. This is what you're gonna be seeing. So if, you, if I zoom in, you can see that the crop line has been identified um, as well as the actual print file. Um, so what you wanna do, you wanna go to, as soon as you drop the file in, you wanna click on mark. Uh, you want to switch on crop marks. I prefer having the uh, this particular type of mark switched off uh, But then you need to switch on your crop marks then move down to cut controls At this point because at very first uh, stage you're only printing the file So if you see the, the cut mark the cut lines have disappeared All I'm going to do simply is print the file and once it's printed I will then refeed the um, after I've laminated uh, the vinyl back into the machine, and then at that point, I'm just going to tell the machine to cut the job only, nothing else, just simply cut the job. But because we're going to leave the marks option on, the crop marks option on, the machine's going to know that it needs to go back and first um, use the optical eye. To identify those um, those registration marks, I like to um, enable the advanced settings, uh, reduce the speed down. This is normally on 30 to uh, 15, but I also like to increase the pressure. Obviously, you'll have to mess about with the pressure settings on a test sample uh, just to make sure that your blade isn't going to cut through the lamination and the vinyl. Uh, in my case, um, I know that 95. Uh, is, is a good uh, pressure uh, for me with the blade that I currently have in the machine. Um, so there you go. So what I'll do right now is I'll go ahead and uh, print only um, this particular file and then I'll show you what happens uh, after I laminate the, the file. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on OK. And then I'll uh, go down to here. And then I'll simply tell the machine um, to print the job. So um, as you can see, uh, the jobs are being printed uh, right now. These are the uh, registration marks that I was referring to. So on the right hand side, side closest to the control panel, uh, you've always got a circle and a square um, rectangle. And then you've got another registration mark there. 
This particular job has been printed, laminated, you can probably tell it's been laminated, um, and now I'm feeding it back into the machine. When you feed it back into the machine, you want to try to place it so that the, um, the registration marks are in line with the cutting line, uh, which isn't going to be too difficult for me because um, of the way that I had uh, printed this job. Um, I'm very lucky that it's already very close to the sensor. So I'm very confident this is going to find it. If you have used a vinyl and it's too short, say it's uh, only up to there, when you load it into the machine, the machine's going to automatically bring it to the sensor. Uh, and if that happens, you're going to need to go into the setting here, adjust, adjust the vinyl up and down and then basically set the base point and then once you've set the base point the vinyl will stay where it needs to I'm hoping that makes sense um, if you experience the problem it'll make sense otherwise I'm just talking gibberish so we're back at this stage again so just to recap recap what we've done I've uh, printed this job, I've laminated this job, and I've fed this job back into the machine. Now that it's been uh, fed back into the machine, I'm, um, depending on how this window opens up, I'm gonna go down to um, cut controls, and I'm gonna simply tell the machine now to cut only. In my case, I like, um, as I mentioned before, to reduce the speed, increase the pressure, um, um, I've already done a little experiment with the blade that I've got in the machine and 95, uh, 95 pressure is, uh, you know, it, it does a nice cut for me. Um, I'm just going to simply press OK. And then um, just press print. So now if I go back to the machine, it's processing. And then you'll see what's happening here. So it's basically detected the first registration mark. So to come over here and detect the second one. And then once it's detected the second registration mark, it's going to go back, look for the fourth registration mark, third, sorry, third registration mark. There you go. It's checking the, and then it's going to check the fourth one. And then, once it's found itself, it's going to go and start cutting the job for us. So zoom in there should be able to see the cut lines. Can you see that? Can you see that cut line? 
So I'm going to let the machine finish doing what it's doing. So um, after I um, contour cut the um, uh, the stickers down, uh, after after they were laminated, I fed them back into the machine. Uh, registration marks, the machine reads them beautiful. I've cut them down to little squares, and all I'm going to do now is just separate the um, the backing. I'm going to weed them basically. Hopefully this tutorial has been useful to you. If it has, um, please leave a comment um, below, like the video, follow me. Um, if you need, uh, if you want to see any other type of uh, videos, um, tutorials um, to do with the print industry, please ask and if it's possible, I will do what I can to make another video. Thank you.